Hey guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I have created the look that is on my face right now. I have no idea what I want to call it, but I do really, really love it. It was the makeup that I was wearing in my fashion try-on haul. Anyway, I am obsessed with this lid color. It is to die for! And I changed up the lip color, so... Anyway, if you guys are interested in how I did achieve this look, then please just keep on watching. So today I'm starting off with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Eyeshadow Primer and then I'm going to set that with the Makeup Geek shade White Lies which is just a matte white eyeshadow. And I'm doing my eyes first today because we're using a pigment and obviously I don't want it to fall all over my foundation and have to redo all of that so I'm just starting off with the eyes today and I'm going in first with Burnt Orange Matte from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm using a Sigma E40 to do that. With this eyeshadow we are going to start mapping out the shape so I'm just going to be making like a bringing it out where you would bring a wing normally in a B type shape on the outer corner of the eye and then I'm going to be going in with Coco Bear this is from Makeup Geek and this is a 227 from brush from Zoeva which I'm using to buff it in and I'm basically just taking it everywhere that I took Burnt Orange Matte as well. So I am now picking up Fudge from Anastasia Beverly Hills and just using the exact same brush, doing the same motions and the same thing that I did with Coco Bear pretty much. We're just building up the shades. So now I'm taking Americano from Makeup Geek. I'm only applying a really little bit of this and I'm focusing most of it on the outer V. And just with the same 227 brush to begin with and then just blending that all in with my Sigma E40. And then for the eyeshadow, we're using Dose of Colors P Ideal Duo in Sticks and Stones, which is just like amazing. I'm first using their base shade that they give you. So this is kind of like a cream base for the actual pigment. And then I'm just going to go in with the pigment on top. And now I'm going to do a little wing. So I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills cream color and this is in the jet black shade. And just a 317 winged liner brush from Zoeva. And this is like my favorite winged liner brush in the entire world. But I always spot clean it every time because I feel like it's just really hard to use when it's stiff and has a little bit of eyeliner on it already. So I actually clean it like after this wing, I will spot clean it and then do the other wing. It's really strange. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm just going to be applying some mascara after that and I'm using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara and I'm also going to be popping on some false lashes. The first time they went on, I was like, oh my goodness, that's the easiest lash application I've ever done. And then I get really mad in a second because I realized I put them on the wrong eye. <laughs> anyway, um, moving on to the face, I'm using the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer and just rubbing this into the face before I go on with my foundation, which is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the shade Barcelona. And I use a 103 Defined Buffer Brush from Zoeva to apply this. Now to conceal and highlight and all of that good stuff, I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and this is in the shade Custard and I just apply this, you know, to my forehead, down the bridge of my nose and my under eyes and also on my cupid's bow and then I'm going to be buffing it out with a E23 brush from Morphe. Thank you. 
Now to set that, I'm using the e.l.f. under eye setting powder, which I have been totally loving lately. And I'm using a foundation, airbrush foundation brush from Models Prefer. And then I'm setting the rest of my face with the Face of Australia Translucent Loose Powder on an Hourglass Number 1 brush, which I have also been loving. <laughs> it just makes the skin so matte. And I don't know, I just really like this. Even to set the under eyes, this is really good. And after I set the whole face, I'm going to be... Um, contouring. I'm using the Bahama Mama bronzer to contour my cheekbones and my temples and also like what's what's the thing called the jaw the jawbone <laughs> the jawline. Um, I already have my nose contoured because I did film my nose contouring routine finally, which will be going up after this video. And then I'm also going to be applying some blush, and the blush I'm using is from the Elf blush palette on a blush brush from Real Techniques. And now I'm going to be brightening my under eyes and my forehead and kind of around my mouth area and just blending it into the blush a little bit too. I don't know, just make everything really seamless. I'm using the Australis Banana banana powder <laughs> which is actually amazing this is like the only shade I ever used from the Australis contour kit so I'm really glad that they came out with like a separate one just for itself and it's just amazing <laughs> you guys have to check it out um anyway to highlight today I'm using my Morphe M510 brush and then this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I did end up dipping into all three, even though I only showed that I was dipping into two of them. <laughs> and for the waterline, I'm using the NYX Retractable Eye Pencil, and this is in the shade... I'm pretty sure it's just called the shade Brown. I'll have it in the description anyway if I'm wrong. And i um, taking Cocoa Bear again on just a little pencil brush from Zoeva. I'm first blending this into the crease, and then just like more precisely, I'm going to be bringing fudge and just putting that really close to the waterline. <laughs> and the lip color I'm going with today is Dose of Colors Cork, which is so beautiful. And they have such a good formula. I'm obsessed with these liquid lipsticks. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial because that's the end of it. <laughs> So that brings us to the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and if you did then please make sure to give this one a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!